Odin spent the greater portion of his life desperately searching for a way to avoid his inevitable death. Many years ago, his fate had been foreseen by the giants of Jotunheim, and he knew better than anyone that Ragnarok would end with his demise. Odin would stop at nothing, and before long, his name was feared across the Nine Realms. But it wasn't his brute strength that paralyzed the people in terror. It was his deceitful tactics and the lengths that he would go in order to pursue knowledge and power. In fact, his greatest strength was not his vast array of magical spells, but rather his ability to disguise himself as other beings. In today's video, I'm going to discuss a theory that might completely change what you think happened during Ragnarok. So without further ado, let's get started. After the shocking revelation that Tyr was none other than the Allfather himself, he fatally wounded Brock and forever destroyed the bond that held together the Holger brothers. Sindri would never be the same, and it's my belief that he was forever changed, quite literally in fact. Many would view the drastic changes in Sindri's demeanor and his obsessive fear of germs as a result of his grief and subsequent mourning. Before his loss, he was always seen as the more polite, timid, and squeamish of the two brothers, often using his ability to teleport away from a fight and always minding his social distancing. After Brock's heartbreaking demise, Sindri took on an entirely different tone, manner of speaking, and even an utter disregard for germs, as he just seemed to have violently ripped off his gloves and discarded them. Initially, I shared the same perspective and I thought that Sindri had just been shattered by the loss of his beloved brother and lost a sense of who he was without his better half. But after I discovered the Aesir prison wreckage, my perspective changed drastically. It was here that we learned the secret to Odin's most powerful ability and the trick to his flawless disguises. What remained of Odin's most well-kept secret were only a few gel cells filled with corpses of various beings from each of the realms. A dwarf, a light elf, a dark elf, a human, and most notably the Norse god of war himself, Tyr. Throughout Kratos and Atreus' journey through the Nine Realms, Odin took the form of each of these prisoners that he kept against their will hiding in plain sight. Although his most convincing disguise was when he took the form of Tyr, there was one eerie discovery that I just could not stop thinking about. Another thing I can't stop thinking about is why you haven't subscribed yet, so be sure to do that now, like the video, and comment Illusion down below. Alongside the body of a dead dwarf, Kratos finds Sindri's tuning fork, the same fork he used to destroy the indestructible wall in Asgard. Most interesting of all, is the ominous item description that reads, Sindri's tuning fork. Somehow, it survived Ragnarok. Although it's possible that Motsognir's call simply could have fallen along with the other fragments of Asgard, I find it highly improbable for the tuning fork to have somehow ended up in this secret prison by coincidence. Not only that, but the manner in which the flavor text seems to question how the relic was still intact begs the question, is Odin disguised as Sindri? Think about it. Who could possibly serve as a better enemy to pose as, considering he allegedly dealt the final blow, seemingly dispelling any chance that Odin could have survived? Additionally, his vast difference in personality, although within the realm of possibility, could also be explained by Odin's improvisation. We know that even as Tyr, despite the fact that he looked and sounded familiar, something was always off about his overly pacifistic nature. Let's not forget the fact that one of his two most trusted ravens, Hugin and Munin, survived Ragnarok and even knew the exact location of the survivor's new refuge. In his journal, Atreus made mention that Odin experimented on these ravens, wiped their memories, and bound them to his will. They served as his eyes and ears, and were connected to each other through forbidden magic. It is my opinion that although his soul was seemingly destroyed along with the marble, this may not have been the entirety of his soul. I believe someone as wise and cunning as Odin would have had a contingency plan in place if his corporeal form were to be defeated. Hugin and Munin were Odin's contingency plan. They were as much a part of him as they were individuals, so it's likely that Odin's beloved ravens had fragments of his soul and could carry on their master's will, which would allow him to assume a more suitable form, a form such as Sindri. But what do you think? Is Odin finally finished? Or does he live on disguised as our favorite dwarf? I'll let you decide. And until next time, it's the Inhuman One, signing out.